All right, this is not gonna be a long video at all. What did I say? What did I say? I said Grand Summoners, if you keep the crossovers together with Global and JP and stay like that consistently throughout the game lifespan, we'll be in a good, good time zone. Now, from what I'm about to say, you guys already probably know, Shaman King is coming back to Global. Now to think about this, JP, their crossover got announced for ReZero. So we're both getting rerun crossovers, right? So so what I'm hoping, whenever, whenever Shaman King leaves, we get ReZero. Whenever ReZero leaves, they get Shaman King. That's what I'm hoping. That is what I'm hoping. Hopefully that happens. I do not want them to get a new crossover and we don't get a new crossover and it's not the same one. I really do hope that, you know, we try to stay close together as much as we can now because that's what we've been trying to do. Granted, we don't know what the contract is like. Oh, Global had to rerun Shaman King at this time. But, but I just, <sighs> but I just, <laughs> it just feels too early. Is it this VR just feels too early? But I would definitely prefer the ReZero collab to come to Global. And I got really hyped whenever it got announced for JP and everything like that. I was like, oh, okay. I can get Emilia now. And now we have Hal here for Shaman King. But that's like the really the only unit that I want. <laughs> and plus I got two of the other units. But it's just like, but now it's like I have Dead Master and everything like that. Like Simon's out and everything. Dark Horto's out. It's just like, I don't really want Hal. <laughs> but I do want him at the same time for a fire monotone. But at the same time, I want it re-zero way more but hey, the good thing about this the Shaman king units are getting buffed and we have it right here literally they made a picture for it and everything so before we get into this hit that like button and subscribe and yeah it helps me out a lot and also um i'm going to be posting a little bit of call videos out there i've been playing not too much but i have been playing um i'm already working on the gold ars and everything like that i already got the m4 gold and everything so i'm moving on to the next weapon and I'm already working on that. I already got one camo. I need three more. I'll probably get to go tonight, depending how much stuff I get done, whatever other piece of work I have to do. But other than that, um, we're moving pretty nice. I want to, this game's out for two years, right? I don't have to rush it. I'm just taking my time. I'm enjoying it. And you guys gonna see some cut videos maybe coming from me pretty soon. So yeah, here are the full Shaman King buffs and everything like that. Tayo Ren right here. You guys gonna see me do some videos over these buffs and everything like that. Uh, I am really excited because his R gauge increased from 20 on the max to 40. So it goes to 25 max to 50 now. Arch damage goes up, damage up from 50% to 60%. That right there, that right there is gonna be nasty on him. I'm talking about nasty, especially with somebody that buffs up physical damage with him. <clears throat> Yo, um, it's gonna be crazy. Anna got a lot of buffs, okay? Skill went up from 10% to 15%. Arch damage went up by 3,000%, 13,000 to 16,000%. True arch damage went up. Then we have earth units damage up from 50% to 60%. Oh my god, that's a pretty nice buff. We got Hal here, buff on his skill, buff on his arts, and his true art affection duration from 15 seconds to 20 seconds. Hal is pretty much completed. There's not really much you can do with this man. He's a pretty nice unit, great slots, all five star slots. I mean, there's really nothing else to say about the unit. Then we have Yo, a very, very, very good character that took my eye whenever this crossover was out. Yo, the buffs that he's getting is the skill is going up from 25% up from that 100%. So it's going to be a max of 125%. You get max on the skill pretty nice. Having that uh, damage up on him is just, man, it's so good. Then the arts damage is going to go up. And then plus he buffs up physical damage. And then plus he buffs up physical damage on, on his arts and everything like that. So great unit. Or Jenner and he busts up attack for fire units. So yeah, those are the buffs right there. We're probably gonna have all the information up on my Discord. So if you wanna have that, hit the like button and subscribe. They also have the crest and stuff right here that we're probably gonna be going over. Maybe they have uh, like four new crests and everything like that. But I just wanted to talk about Shaman King and just let you guys know, yeah, it's coming to Grand Summers Global. Let me know if you wanted it. I kind of wanted ReZero. No, I did want ReZero to come to Global, but uh, just let me know how you feel about it in the comments down below. And I'm not too mad over this. Um, Shaman King still getting crossover. 
pretty good units and everything that's coming from the crossover. And yeah, I just really want to read Zero. Hit the like, subscribe, and uh, stay sleepy.